Hey guys, it's me, Aaron. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys about the Thin Lens Equation for optics or physics at school. So basically, uh, what the Thin Lens Equation is, is it uh, gives you the ability to, to find out the focal length um, of an image created when it goes through a um, lens or a mirror, depending on where it is. So basically, to start off, um, most of you know what the Thin Lens Equation is or you went to look at the video, but so the formula is 1 over F equals 1 over DI, which is distance of image, that's focal length, plus 1 over DO, which is distance of object. So basically, um, what you would do here is, uh, let's say there's a problem where you had to try and find out the focal length, um, the focal length of the image, or the focal length, right? Eh. Okay, so it would give you the value of di and the value of do. Uh, so di could have a possible value of, let's just say, for the sake of simplicity, 6, and do, 2. So what you would do is 1 over f equals 1 over 6, because that's di, it's like a variable, plus 1 over 2. And then since you can't just add these because it has to be a common denominator, multiply this by 3, multiply this by 3. So you'll get 1 over 6 plus 3 over 6. And then that equals, obviously, 4 over 6. So then 1 over f equals 4 over 6. And then what you do here is cross multiplication, if you guys don't know what that is. But so you take the 4, and you'll multiply it by the f, and you'll take the 1, and you'll multiply it by the 6. So 4 times f equals 4f, and 1 times 6 equals 6, so 4f equals 6. So then you have to try and find out the value of f, and obviously what you would do, 6 divided by 4 equals f. So whatever 6 divided by 4 what will be will equal f, and it's prob I think I know the answer, but I'll just make sure. Uh, yeah, 1.5. So, f equals 1.5. But now, let's say you were given another problem, something maybe a little bit more complicated, like, or not more complicated, but like that involved rearranging. So we remember what we said, 1 over f, 1 over di, plus 1 over do. But what if um, they didn't give us the values for di and do, they gave us the values for di and f, so we'd have to find do. So what we do here is, 1 over DO equals 1 over F subtract 1 over DI. So basically, let's just do values. So let's say they said F equals 5, DI equals 10, find DO. So what you do is 1 over 5 minus 1 over 10. Same thing here, multiply this by 2, multiply this by 2. So you would obviously get 2 over 10 minus 1 over 10 equals 1 over 10. So DO equals 1 over 10, but 1 over DO actually. So 1 over DO equals 1 over 10. Cross multiplication, DO equals 10. 1 DO equals 10 over 1, which is the same as DO equals 10. And you do that the same for di, so 1 over di would equal 1 over f subtract 1 over do. Same concept. So I hope that guy is, helps you guys out. If you're having any problems, and next tutorial will be about stoichiometry.